Now, the International Criminal Court has begun collecting evidence of potential war crimes and crimes against humanity being committed by Russian forces in Ukraine. Crimes against humanity includes what's known as systemic attacks directed at civilian populations. Now, our colleagues at the Observers team have been looking at cluster bombs for us. And to talk to us about that, uh, Derek Thompson from the Observers is with me. And Derek, just tell us, first of all, what are cluster bombs? Well, it's a little bit complicated. So the easiest way is to show you something, to show you what one of these munitions looks like. So they're actually called cluster munitions, is the, is the formal name. Um, and we have a picture of a, of a Russian 9M55K rocket. All right? These are big rockets that are launched by multiple uh, rocket launching systems. Um, it's called a 9M55K. And if you take a look at that rocket, the front part of it is where the explosives go. Now, that can either be a single charge of explosives to produce a very big boom, uh, a, single, a single warhead, or it can be packed with smaller munitions, smaller mini-bombs that are called cluster bombs or cluster munitions. And those are designed to, to spread the impact over a broader area to do something like clear a, line, a landmine if you're in, in a battlefield or to inflict heavy uh, damage in a civil, uh, in a, on civilians if you're in a civilian area. Um, now, the back part of it is where the engine fuel goes and the motor. And what happens when these things fly over, the front part explodes and scatters all the little munitions, and then the back part actually continues flying and lands. Um, and we can take a look at how these things are launched as well. Um, they are launched by a rocket launching system called a Smirch. These are, these are our heavy truck-mounted systems. They can fire 12 of these rockets very rapidly. They have a range of about 20 to 90 kilometers. Um, now, we were, we've, we've been able to confirm um, this kind of rocket being used in Ukraine. We documented one attack that happened in the second city of the, of the country, Kharkiv, on February 28th. And we can take a look at a map there. What we did is we, we, we compiled some amateur videos, and then we actually geolocated them. We showed where the videos were filmed. Now, if you see in the top right of the screen, rocket attack. This is where we had a, a video, which I'll show you in a second, that showed a, a, a multiple flash a multiple projectile attack on, on a commercial area. And then just a little bit later, there was some debris found in a residential area. And I can show you what those attacks looked like and explain, uh, explain what was happening. Here is the attack. And you see those multiple flashes? That's indicative of cluster munitions. There are a bunch of things that are exploding in the same time. They were exploding here over a parking garage area and a place for used the, where, where there are little uh, shops to repair cars. So it's a populated area where people are might be working, going to their cars. Um, um, here's another image of the 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 same. Oh, this is this is sorry. This is the, in the residential area. Now you can just about see that. Um, that is the tail section of one of these rockets that has landed. Now the tail sections land without uh, exploding, so they're less dangerous than the the explosive sections. But they do land. This one landed in a residential area. Is there any way, Derek, of verifying who's firing these what, rockets? Uh, it's hard to know who's firing them because the rockets blow up and so they, and they don't have a, a, a signature on them. Um, but we can we can sort of extrapolate the path of them. So so we did that. Um, so we took the two points where we observed the damage, the actual attack, and then also the point where the debris was. And we have a map showing this. Um, and then we stretched it back. There you go. So if you draw a line that goes from the rocket debris to the rocket attack, you can gather where the missile, where the rocket comes from. And this line is pointing towards Russia. It's uh, 31 kilometers away from the point of impact. And we have a colleague, because when we do this work, we're often sharing information from, with other people who are in the open source investigation community. And we have a colleague called Michael Sheldon at the Atlantic Council, who took the same two points that you see on the right of that map. Those are the two points that we were able to geolocate. He he, there was a, another attack on the same day. He took uh, those two points as well. He drew his line on the left. And then he extended those further to the northwest towards Russia. And we can see our next image here. Um, we have a separate graphic. There we go. And this is where the two points meet. They actually meet uh, about 31 kilometers northwest of Kharkiv. Um, we're inside Russia, about nine kilometers inside Russia. And uh, this, uh, and then what he did is he, he looked at that point, he focused on that, he ordered a satellite image of exactly that same point. Um, this was on February 27th, the day before the attacks. And if you look at that, that is smoke from a Russian, from a, from a, 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 a missile, a rocket launch inside Russian territory. So it's pretty conclusive evidence that this was uh, these were cluster munitions fired by Russian forces February 27th and February 28th in Ukraine. All right, really important reporting. Thank you very much indeed for coming on to explain all of that to us. Derek Thompson for us there on the programme.